racism is to act like there is no racism and the new racism is to put people of color between the power structure in black folk and we better be on the lookout for this the new racism is going to come in brown face they're going to put the latino as an adversary against black folk for resources. They're gonna put the Asian as an adversary against black people for resources. They're gonna put the East Indian. They're gonna put the Korean. They're gonna put the Mexican. They're gonna put the Chinese as an adversary against black folk. So brown people are gonna be the new face of white supremacy in the black community. Look at our stores. White folk will say, what you getting mad at us? We don't own all those stores in your neighborhood. That's Chinese folks and Koreans and East Indians, a Arabs, the gas stations, not us. But who financed them? Who gave them the small business loan so they can come and set up shop in my neighborhood? Y'all did. So what they do now to hide the white supremacy, they put brown people in front. So you can't blame me, I'm not in it. But the power that they have to economically suppress and oppress black folk is coming from white folks. We gotta see this coming. And it's important that we don't fall for the multicultural agenda because the multicultural agenda is all about confusing black folk as to who their allies are. If we can get black folk to see the Latinos as their allies, if we can get black folk to see the Mexicans and the poor white and the poor Korean and the poor Vietnamese and the poor Arab and the poor East Indian as their allies, we can dominate them more effectively because the people they're building coalitions with are the people we're financing to oppress them. But because they see them as a friend, because they see them as an ally, they won't even recognize the strategy that we're putting in place. So the new racism is to make you identify with people of color and then finance the people of color to replace you. The new white man wears a brown face. I've been spending most of my day here watching enlightening, educational, videos, of course, from the mouths and minds of awakened Africans. I don't deal with uh, the Euro-centric um, version of awakening. Try to see this. This is one of the documentaries I've been watching today. You see the uh, lineup of the, of, the, of the powerful names that's on there. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see the backside. Yeah. That good stuff. Y'all see that? Some powerful names on there. Dr. Joy DeGroy, James Small, quite a few of them on here. Anthony Browder, Dr. Umar Johnson. Now, with this being said, Dr. Claude, Claude Anderson, with this being said, um, I know some names of some conscious people in there. I'm not going to say any names that does some questionable things um, along this journey and this path recently. Um, to hurt the conscious community. But the message is still strong, okay? Receive the message, okay? Don't worry about the messenger. Get the message. That's a powerful video right there, or documentary, should I say, uh, speaking on um, out of darkness, where we come from and what we're facing. This is a very, very powerful video, okay? Um, another one that I'm into right now, it's by my man Raheem Shabazz. You know, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know, the boy got some real heavy, heavy hitters on here as well, as you can see. Dr. James Smalls, David Banner is speaking. Dr. Boyce Watkins, Shaharzad Ali, Dr. Kaba Kameen, who I really don't build. You know, I'm not, I'm not really a, a big fan of now. You know, but uh, but uh, he still be bringing the knowledge. Um, the elementary genocide. Y'all gotta get on these. These are some powerful documentaries right here. Okay, these are these are ones um, by my man Raheem Shabazz, who's really really doing some big things in the community as far as uh, bringing information through the form of documentaries. So this is very powerful and very nece necessary in our, in our community today that y'all get these. Um, you know, talking about the prison, the school to prison pipeline. Powerful, you know what I mean. If I, if y'all don't know how to get with Raheem, uh, speak in a comment in this video, and I'll make sure I put you in contact with him so you can get those DVDs and those documentaries. All right. 
It's your Nitta brother, Andre. 360 degrees of wholeness, balance, perfection, and power. Peace.